Wildfire smoke is something we've been talking a lot about the last few weeks as fires have been raging across western Canada. However, a little closer to home, there's some impressive wildfires out across southern portions of Nova Scotia. And because of that, plumes of wildfire smoke are occasionally drifting into New England. Today, most of that's out of the area. Uh, lights are really no wildfire smoke in the sky out there currently. We have beautiful blue skies today. That may not be the case tomorrow, though. As we take a look at the future cast here, you can see this big plume of smoke. Uh, getting up onto that heavy level too on the scale and it looks like this could potentially be closer to ground levels as well. So the smoke comes in, visibility could drop, air quality could briefly drop as well. There's no air quality alerts up yet, but that could change tomorrow. So here we are at 8 a.m. Tuesday. The plume is coming into southeastern Mass and a lot of Rhode Island. We'll see it make its way to western Mass by the early to mid afternoon or I would say mid to late afternoon actually. So you can see 4 p.m. now Springfield's really starting starting to see the sky go hazy and again it, because of that smoke is closer to ground level uh, it may almost drop visibility from time to time that plume is going to move across western mass through sunset and then eventually push out of the area by tomorrow night wednesday we're going to have to keep an eye on it but it looks like it's going to be a little bit nicer visible satellite you can actually see the plume of smoke right there is the wildfire you can see the plume coming all the way out here through the atlantic but wind tomorrow will shift more to the southeast and that's going to push that plume on the shore line. Looking at the current satellite and radar loop, there's nothing for cloud cover for us. It's beautiful out there today as it has been all weekend. But down across the mid-Atlantic and definitely the Carolinas, they have been stuck with this same weather pattern for days now. Scattered showers and thunderstorms. But for us, not a drop of rain to be found. Not anytime soon either. Your 24 showing a cool off tonight. Pretty significant actually. Temperatures will likely dip down to either side of 40 degrees through sunrise as high pressure moves overhead with clear skies and calm winds. So a chill in the air for sure tomorrow morning, but temperatures warm up fast as they do most often this time of year. We'll have completely sunny skies through the morning with temperatures quickly getting into the 60s and then 70s return for the afternoon with a few spots like downtown areas getting close to 80. I think the warmest spot again could be up toward North Adams, believe it or not. And again, that wildfire smoke comes in for the late afternoon could cap temperatures where they are. So mid 70s are a possibility for tomorrow. Still a big temperature swing from low 40s in the morning to 70 in the afternoon thanks to high pressure and dew points are still in that very refreshing realm so we have got very dry air in place with dew points in the 30s and low 40s through Wednesday now dew points do rise a little bit through the end of the week along with the temperature so it is going to feel pretty hot but still stay comfortable breezes will also stay on the light side and eventually start shifting more south and southwest as we go into Thursday and Friday and that's going to come with a pretty sizable warm-up then a cold front is going to be pushing southward Friday afternoon and evening bringing us a chance for some wet weather, but it's only a chance. Looks like some scattered to isolated showers, maybe a thunderstorm. Doesn't look like anything too robust at this point. Temperatures will be the big headline, though, for the end of the week with highs hitting low 90s both Thursday and Friday. We cool off and we're breezy for Saturday, but temperatures look to return to near 80, and that should last most of next week. Matt, back to you.